Hi teachers, it's Brandy Caldwell with Alabama Technology in Motion coming to you with another video. And today we're going to look at how to use Flipgrid to let your students submit either videos or responses to a topic. So first we're going to go to Flipgrid.com and log in. Now, once you've logged in or created an account, um, it's going to, um, you have some tabs across the top, my activity, my grids, and then various other tools that you can use. We're going to stick here at my grids, and we are going to um, work as if you've never used Flipgrid before. So the first thing you have to do is create a grid. Think about a grid like your big umbrella topic for your class. Some people make separate grids for separate class periods or for separate subjects that they are teaching. And so I'm going to name my grid. I'm going to call this one first period. And now I'm going to choose a grid type if it is public. And I'm going to put this link out there for lots of people, not just school people. I can make it public. Um, we're going to use school email because that is typically the way your students will need to respond. They're going to sign in with their Microsoft or Google school email. And now we can create a flip code. Now you can use a customized flip code if you want. So I might call this one first period called. And I'm going to say next. Okay, so students can enter their flip code and verify their school email using Microsoft or Google. Um, we've added your school email already. Add your student's school email if it's different. So if it is um, ecboe.org. If it is students.sccboe.org um, or whatever your district is using. So be sure you put whatever's after the at symbol right here so it'll recognize your school's email. Now my grid is ready. Um, now the grid is not necessarily the link you're going to send them. That is the overarching topic. You're going to have a specific topic within that grid that you're going to send your students. We're just going to go to the grid. Okay, so on this grid, you're going to create topics. And so we're going to do add a new topic. Now keep in mind with the grid, once that's created, I don't ever have to create that again, and it is ready to go. So some teachers just create one grid with topics for all of their classes to respond to, so that is up to you. So now we're going to get into topics. This is what you're going to send to your students and they're going to respond to. So under title, I might call this um, video response. Now you have recording time options and um, I usually set mine to the max in case students want to go longer than five minutes. Um, this is where you'll put your prompt. Please submit your videos here. Now there may be a question or some prompt that you want them to answer. The focus part is optional. You don't have to add anything here, but let's say that your prompt deals with um, a video, an image, something from Microsoft, from OneDrive, or from Google. Um, so you can add documents, um, handouts, or something here that you want your students to use. Um, you can record a video yourself for your students. Um, you can add like a fun emoji or something just to keep them engaged. And so I'm going to put this little star emoji there. Um, and then I'm going to say create topic. The topic is ready. Now, so I can copy this link and send it to my students. However, I am used to communicating with them. Um, uh, you can embed that if you want to embed the topic. Most people are using either Microsoft Teams, Classroom, or Remind, and they're sending this topic to their students. And I'm going to go into topics and I'm going to click the pencil to make edits on that topic. Notice now that I've created the topic, I have other options. This is where I can add attachments like documents. This is where I can make some choices like moderation. Do you want this video hidden until you have approved it? Or do you want all of their videos hidden from one another? Um, the other thing is, do you want this to be active? Um, do you want students to be able to reply to each other? And do you have a set time you want this to freeze so that it can no longer accept topics from uh, any students? 
And then there are other features. Do you want them to be able to make a selfie with their video? Give it a title. Do you want them to see how many views it has? Um, do you want them to be able to have the sticky notes option while they're recording? Um, and then other things. Do you want them to be able to have an attachment like uh, link or do you want them to have likes? So you have all of those options in the editing part of your topic. So this is what it looks like on my end as students are prepared to send me some responses, but I can also look at it to see what it looks like on the student end and try to log in with Microsoft. Let's see if this works now. Login successful. So automatically it grabbed mine and let me see it. So on the student end, this is what it looks like. They're going to see Please submit your videos here, whatever focus you put, and responses. And all the student does is they're going to click the plus sign. And now it is going to ask for permission to use Microsoft, uh, microphone, and camera. And so I'm going to say allow. And there I am. I'm going to tell you, you also have this video option, add a video clip. So if your students have a video already, they can upload it by using those three dots on the side. And so hopefully that helps you when you are using Flipgrid and helping your students to use Flipgrid.